Kevin, hi, iTube. I know it's been a minute since I actually posted a video communicating with you guys and interacting with you. Um, I want to get more into that before I drop my documentary. So I want to make a intro video before I do that. So, welcome Egypt Dawn. She is eight months Earthside, and the experience having a home birth with her was so just so breathtaking and really cherishable. And I was going to make a video to post on here, but yeah, the way the video is, yeah. So I just decided to update you all on Egypt's arrival and what I have going on and what I plan to have going on and what my purpose consists of and things of that nature and my intentions for this channel. So um, I plan to have a home birth. I mean, I did have a home birth. I plan to have a water birth with her, but by the time she came, like the water was cold and my midwife decided like recommended for us to just um, do a different position instead of water birth and so she came I probably was like in labor the previous night like around 11 11 ish and then she came the next day or later that day like around like eight ish at night and it was just such a beautiful experience and I kept her placenta I buried the placenta and I'll put a picture right here I buried the placenta and um, did a little ceremony a healing um, giving back to the earth ceremony and that's just basically for protection for her she will always be connected to the earth um, it, me as well because it's our both of our blood in the earth and it's good to give back to mother earth like all of your food scraps uh, you can use it as compost obviously and then you can also just give back to the earth just um, throw it in the grass and it'll decompose it'll um earth will suck the nutrients up and so on so I'm so excited and my breastfeeding journey has been well, it's definitely have been challenging on the days that I'm really like tired because to be honest, um, a new parent, I haven't had much sleep, but I don't regret it. And it's sleep that I could get back. Um, and I'll tell you that in my documentary on my goals and intentions and things like that on how um, I'm going to be eventually living um, in nature and so that's going to allow me to get the rest that I've lost and I'm going to be more fulfilled than I am right now in this very moment in this present moment but I'll talk about that in the documentary so definitely stay tuned for that because it's it, it's really like yeah <laughs> so i just wanted to come on here and share a positive holistic space with you all if you all feel free to interact with me and things like that i'm definitely open i still do i'm still plant-based <laughs> i know i just stopped um making videos but during that time egypt was <laughs> um developing um so I just wanted to come here and share a positive space with you all and let you all know that I'm thinking about you guys and all my subscribers like you really mean a lot to me because I am you and you are me so I just want to come on here and say that um, my uh, my next cooking videos that I'm gonna be putting up here it's going to be in nature. Everything is going to be surrounded by nature on this channel. And I have a lot of things that I want to implement in this channel and give back. 
um, to I and I and to us to share amongst community. So I'm going to be cooking in nature, making things in nature, out of nature. <laughs> so we're going to be doing that. We're going to be learning in nature, learning about nature, meditations in nature, guided meditations, a whole lot of things that I have good intentions for on this channel. Even the community that we joined and things like that. And our weekly drum circles and things like that. I want you to like you guys to be more involved in the great holistic things that we've been doing. We just haven't been capturing it because I just haven't made time for it. But now that I'm making my documentary, I'm like, oh yeah, I need to go ahead and like <laughs> say an update. And so I don't just post my documentary and, and y'all are like baffled. Like, where did this come from? So yes. Um, it's going to be more in depth. This channel is going to be more in depth, just um, rather than just cooking. It's going to be more holistic um, values and holistic things that we're going to be doing. And so, yes, Egypt is going to be a part of this channel. I just want to step in and say my locks are growing. It's been three years locked. Where my keys and that locks are growing. Um, and I've been free form for a year. So no retwists, just really just washing when I feel the need to wash it. And putting shea butter in it so it can stay um, moisturized and have some nutrients in there and not be so dry. But yeah, so. I have my pre-form lock keys um, that I'm going to be doing and of course our holistic eating journey and as you can see I posted a short Egypt is plant-based as well she's had bell peppers blueberries and these fruits are all like whole like half to where she can bite it so because um, I want her to have the experience of eating the food in its raw form that the Most High put on this plane for us. So she's had bell peppers. She has dry fruit as well, like bananas, strawberries, blueberries, mulberries, um, mangoes, plums. She's had <laughs> some varieties. Her favorite is um, coconut, and her favorite is blueberries. So and she also had coconut water. So I'll be definitely like doing her journey as well for our youth. And so yes, so stay tuned for our documentary that's coming out pretty soon. So definitely follow me on Facebook and I put all the links below because that's where I'm more active on. And I'm also active on Snapchat. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'll post my um, my link tree down here. And it has a whole lot of things. You guys could, you know, see what we're doing and updates and things like that. But I do want to be more active and more involved in um, the collectiveness of this iTube. And so, yes. Um... Yeah, the day in a life. Breastfeeding. Um, I will be sharing my breastfeeding journey and how difficult, well, how challenging it was at first. And I had to literally come to grasp mentally. And then how my experience have been pumping. Well, now I don't pump. I manually do it because my pump is... But anywho, um, how I felt about pumping while I'm at work and just the whole work thing with my baby at home and um, with her grandparents, of course. But um, but yeah, so it's it's a lot. I just want to come in here and just update you guys on just a little bit to get, you know, back into 
community and back into communicating with you guys because I love you guys and I know like most people don't say I love you they just try to romanticize love but love is the collective love is you love is me love is my breath love is my worth love is all around us. so I love you all and thank you gratitude for you all sharing this space with me in Egypt and we look forward to sharing many more spaces with you all God I and have a blissful day every night and day gratitude for the sunrise gratitude for the sunshine gratitude for the